Well, is it true that all new launches make money? The answer is yes and no. I do see that there are some new launches that make a lot of profits and also there are some that actually make huge losses. So it's very important to determine uh, using a framework. So today I'm going to use my D2P2 framework to actually analyze and determine whether a project is profitable or not. And once I determine that, the next step is to go into the project to analyze which stacks and which type has the highest profit potential. Okay, before I go into an analysis, this is just a disclaimer that whatever that I'm going to share here is based on my own research and my own opinion. So please do your own due diligence before you invest your money. Okay, so today project analysis, I will choose this project called the Lentor Hughes Residences using my D2P2 analysis to analyze. So again, what is D2P2? For some of you who don't know, it's actually data-driven property profits method. In short, it's D2P2. Okay, so why I choose uh, Lentor Hughes Residence? Reason is very simple, okay? I actually do some screening and I found this project that the current price is still relatively close to the launch price. So I feel that this is still quite a gen that we can go into. Okay, let's look at the pricing. Okay, so we were, this project was launched in uh, last year, around mid-year mid of last year. Until now, you can see that the price has only gone up by less than 1%, okay, 0.81%. This is the average per square feet. So despite this project has already sold out more than 75%, okay, the price is still relatively close to the launch price. So it's still very attractive because normally when developer has hit a certain target, they will definitely increase the price multiple times. So I think the reason why the price is still uh, relatively close to the launch price is because there are still a lot of projects that is launched here, so there's a lot of competitions. So I think the developers still want to keep the price competitive as of now, but we don't know, maybe the price will increase very soon already. Okay, so the next reason is location, location, location. Alright, so this is one of the Lentor projects that is closest to the MRT station, and it is also within one kilometer to Elite Primary School. Okay, so which Elite Primary School is that? is St. Nicholas Girls' School. But do take note that uh, not all the units may be within one kilometer to St. Nicholas. Okay, so this one, we haven't really got the con final confirmation, but uh, if you want to know which are the units to choose that is uh, most likely to be within one kilometer, do let me know. Okay, so why is this proximity to primary school is very important now? It's because of the recent changes in this uh, Premier 1 Residation Framework. Okay, so this is taken from the Straits Times and it says that if a school has more applications than vacancies in Phase 2C of Residation, priority will be given to Singaporeans living closer to the school. So it's unlike in the past, right now the proximity to primary school is more important. So definitely, if you are close to a good school, you will have demand because parents who want their children to study in good school, definitely they will want to fight to go into this location. Alright, so uh, one of the this uh, framework that I use to analyze project, right, especially for a new project is this gap between new and resale project. Okay, in general, rule of thumb is that when the gap is small, which means new launch price is very close to resale price, it presents an opportunity because it's like you are buying something that is uh, brand new at the old price. Okay, so I actually showed this uh, comparison chart back in my other project analysis comparing Sin Serpent Oasis and Park and Star okay, because these two projects are actually quite nearby each other. In fact, they are in the eastern side of Singapore around two MRT stop away. Okay, so uh, we all know that Park Star has already made quite a lot of money. Okay, but back then when it was launched in 2019, okay, 201819, you can see that the price over here is very close to Sims Urban Oasis. And after when it TOP around 2022, you can see that the gap actually widened. Okay, so this is what I mean that by when the gap between the new and resale is small, okay, it presents an opportunity. 
because after a TOP, okay, people want to go for the brand new project and the age of sin servant has become older by then. So people will compare this as it's an older project and it's a brand new. So definitely they will want to pay a premium or something that is brand new. Okay, so when resale and new launch get is narrow, this is the principle. It will present an opportunity for entry. Okay, so right now I will go into the comparison for Lantau Hill Residences versus another resale project nearby. And this time around I choose Panorama as a com comparison project. Okay, why I choose Panorama is because I find that this project Besides, it's actually uh, close to Lantau Hill Residences and it also has the same attribute like both are within one kilometer to St. Nicholas Girls and secondly, both are very close to the MRT station and it's also the Thompson East Coast Line Okay, so I find that uh, they have the same attribute so it's a very fair comparison Okay, so uh, for this comparison, I'm only comparing the one big room Okay, so you can see that uh, of course, the top one is the Lantau Hill Residences. The one at the blue color is this uh, panorama. Okay, we can see that the gap huh, is about 33.64%. Okay, so for this gap wise, right, uh, if I'm the investor, I think I will probably skip the one bedroom uh, unless really uh, I prefer to go for one bedroom for my own preference, otherwise, or other reasons, but basically. For investment wise, probably I may go for a resale, okay, because I can, if I go for a resale, I can buy cheaper and I can get a better rental you in that sense, okay. Okay, for two bedroom, right, what is the gap in this case? The gap is about 15%, okay, you can see from here, alright, this is the gap, about 15%, okay, here you can also see the gap. So I feel that 15% is still relatively a fair fair pricing. That means because by right, uh, a new a new launch should be more expensive than resale, right? So I think 15% is a fair pricing. Okay, so but I think that for me 15% is like indifference. Okay, you want to go for a brand new or you want to go for a resale, both are it depends on your own preference, okay. Okay, so next we look at for three bedroom comparison, and I noticed something very interesting. For three bedroom, the gap is very very small. Okay, it's only at three point five seven percent. So let's think about it. Right now, you are getting something that is brand new. Okay, and the price is only slightly more expensive by about three plus percent. And think about it. When Lantau Hill Residences were to TOP. Panorama and Rental Hill Residential age gap will be close to about 10 years difference. So you're getting something that is 10 years younger but yet at about the same price. So what is your opportunity for outside over there? Okay, that means when it's TOP that time, Panorama will be 10 years older than you. So of course, uh, but there are still buyers who will go for resale. Probably they do not want to wait. So there's no right and wrong, but for investment point of view, I will feel that this present an opportunity to go for something that is probably brand new in this case. Okay, so now let's deep dive into the numbers. Okay, we can see that uh, this is for Panorama transactions, the recent transactions. It has already hit 2,000 per square feet. Okay, and let's look at Lantau Hill Residences. You still can get 1,009 per square feet, 2,000. Okay, even for this unit at level 6 and 7 is 2,000 per square feet. Okay, so it's actually quite a competitive pricing. Okay, of course you can say that uh, it probably you're comparing something that is higher floor, but let's look at it this way. Even if you're paying something more expensive, slightly more expensive for a, for a new launch, I will feel that it's still very worth it. Okay, because you're betting something that is brand new. Okay, how about the four bedroom comparison? Okay, four bedroom, what is the gap over here? You can see that it's about 8 point something percent. Okay, so it's still quite healthy. It's below the 10% region. Okay, so for this case, right, I would say that for the four bedroom is also something that we can probably look at. Okay, 
because uh, less than ten percent, I feel is still quite attractive. Because the age gap is about ten years difference. All right. Okay, let's look at another these uh, transactions. Okay, for four bedroom, you can see that the four bedroom for Panorama has already hit thousand nine per square feet. Okay, is the same per square feet for Lantohi residences. How about other location in the OCR region, like uh, Riverfront Residences, one of the hottest project last year? Okay, I can I already notice that there's a transaction here. Okay, there's uh, already hit almost two point eight million for a resale. Okay, so actually a lot of people are saying that uh, new launch prices is very expensive, but actually when you go and analyze deeper, you realize that resale is also not cheap anymore. We are already hitting 1,009, 2,000 per square feet. Okay, and for quantum wise, it's also almost the same as a new launch. All right, but just that, of course, a lot of people will compare very old resale, okay, like 20, 30 years. Of course, that will be very different. Okay, so, but you must compare apple to apple. So, in this case, we compare something that is newer. So, it will be a fairer comparison. Another reason why I prefer to go for the bigger unit is this. Uh, comparison between the big and the small unit in the project. So one of the key thing is about exit strategy. Okay, who are your potential buyers? Okay, when you buy this project, when the TOP, who are you going to sell to? And most likely for this development because it's close to MRT and close to good school, likelihood is the family's profile will be buying in this area. So families they will likely go for the bigger size unit. And when will these people come in to buy? Uh, most in my most of the time, based on my experience, is families who will come and uh, go for bigger units. Okay, but they will usually come and buy at the point of TOP. Okay, the reason is very straightforward. They do not want to wait so long. They do not want to move twice and rent a place. So normally they wait for the project of TOP. Then they will come in to buy. And also this change in consumer preference after the COVID, okay, a lot of uh, buyers that I serve, they actually prefer to go for a bigger unit, even if they used to stay in a two bedroom, now they will prefer something that is a two plus study, okay, or a three bedroom. Because uh, after the pandemic, a lot of people actually uh, develop this habit of working from home and they also appreciate space more. Another thing is the comparison between the big unit and the small units in terms of their profitability. So I'm going to show you some comparison here. Okay, you can see that for Riverfront, this is one of the project, uh, they just TOP last year. Okay, you can see that the two bedroom profits is averagely about 200,000. Whereas for the real, uh, Riverfront four bedrooms, the profits actually are almost double, or more than double, 500K to even 800,000. Okay, so imagine if you have bought a four bedroom instead of a two bedroom back then, how much more profits would you have made? Okay, this one is another project uh, at Treasure and Debanese, also one of the projects that I recommended to my client. Okay, so if you have bought a two bedroom, your profits is about also about 200,000, 100 plus thousand. Okay, the four bedroom, you can make more than double, 400,000 and as high as even 500 over 1000. Next, I will go into the unit selection for Lantor Hughes residences. So the first one that I actually pick on is the three big room, which I feel that is potentially undervalued. Okay, so for three big room unit selection, right, these are the, my best pick for this project. Okay, but I just checked and realized because this research was done uh, last week, Okay, so I just checked and realized that actually the uh, level 6 is already taken. Okay, level 7 I think is still available. Okay, but not to worry if even if you miss this unit, uh, you want to know which are the next pick that I want to go for, you can DM me, I can share with you more. And uh, why I choose this unit in particular is because uh, this one is still on the mid floor level, level 6, level 7, which I think. Uh, still quite acceptable. A lot of buyers are okay with this level, and the per square feet is still very attractive. Okay, quite close to a uh, resale per square feet. 
and the layout wise is also quite good okay i quite like this layout okay so if you are looking for other unit types okay let me know i can share with you uh my detailed analysis and also for four bedroom i also have my best pick okay so just feel free to dm me and i will share with you more of course uh, must be based on your financial situation your preference and all that a lot of people has been asking me this question also that uh, hey Lantor has like a lot of supply of units so many projects would that be oversupply situation okay so i have also uh, done some analysis on this so think about this why is the government building so many townships and do you know that besides Lantor, there's going to be another bigger township that is called Springleaf? So, do you think the government will build a ghost town? So, I think definitely not. Okay? And where is our population currently at? We are already at about 5.9 plus million population. And I think we are definitely on track to hit the 6.5 to 6.9 million population by 2030. Next, uh, let's use D19 as an example. Okay, so you can see that all these projects, Riverfront, Affinity, Foreign, Sengkang Grand, okay, they were all launched around the period 201819, about 5-6 years ago. And all these are mega projects. You see, uh, most of them are above 1,000 units. So back then, I also hear a lot of people saying that wow, there will be oversupply, uh, you cannot buy this area. D19 will, will have a lot of project that's going to TOP around the same period. Okay, so now let's look at what happened. Okay, you can see that all these projects actually make money. So, can you imagine if you have bought back then in 201819? Okay, you have made a lot of money already. So, is that oversupply in D19? Next. If you are still not convinced, we look at Passeris area. Okay, Passeris, you can see that uh, there are also a lot of projects near the Passeris MRT station. So we have like Coco Palms, uh, Dines, uh, MV Residences, Olivia. So I look at this area a little bit similar to like Lentor, okay, close to MRT, a lot of projects. Okay, so what happened if we have bought into this area? You can see that okay they are also on an uptrend and everyone has made money i've come to the end of my video please help to like and subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos thank you so much for your support and if you would like to find out which are the four big room units that will make money in my opinion or which are the other projects that will also make money too please feel free to dm me for one-to-one -one consultation my name is vincent from home mb see you in the next video